All right, what's up, everybody? So it is now June 5th. Happy 4th of July to everyone in the States. I hopefully am getting a bunch of AmiAmi Ami orders this month. I've had statues delayed for months and months on this at this point. Some of them, I think, half of a year. So it's been a really long time since I've done a scale figure unboxing. Don't worry, I've got a bunch on pre-order I'm super excited to get. They're just, you know, I think with everything with the shipping overseas, it's just taking a lot longer. Though people that get statues that aren't Persona apparently get them, I am waiting. Anyways, that's not the point. Uh, these aren't necessarily as exciting as scale figures, but they're exciting for me. I really like these. Uh, uh, so I did receive a bunch of demons from Shimagami Tensei Persona. Uh, let's see. What's the best way to describe them? They're not scale as far as I can tell. They're not PVC. They're just like a cheaper material, but they're very good quality. I really like the detail that's put into them for how small they are. And I do like to build, uh, you know, a collection of them. I kind of want it to look like how it did in, uh, if you remember the original, like, teaser commercial for Shin Megami Tensei Five, where it's all the demons in the dark. There's several different posters where it's like a bunch of the demons all together. I want it to look like that on a shelf. So my goal is to collect as many of these or other good looking uh, figures of some of the statues. Or not statues, demons. If they're different sizes, I'm okay with that. It, that doesn't really bother me as much. Just that I you know, get as much variety to add to that collection is kind of what I'm going for. But I do really like these figures. They are made by a company called OneCoin. I don't know anything about them. I find them on eBay. Uh, I think they're kind of older. So what like what game they correlated when they came out i have no idea i don't know that much of the history of it i just think they're pretty cool the downside is they are kind of expensive you know for a uh, figure they're usually like what three or four inches some of them are like the people want like 60 dollars, and i understand there's a lot of them are shipping from japan but that's too much money for you know a little tiny figure so I try to wait until I find a good deal on them. And then I try to sn snatch them up as quick as I can from eBay. So I got a couple. I'm going to show you what they are. Uh, the first one, this is the only one that was ordered separate. I got this for actually around $30, which is about $10 more than I want to spend. $5 to $10. But I actually had a $25 eBay gift card. So the figure only cost me $5. Easy sell for me. Uh, this is also the first one that I've gotten of my whole collection so far that came in the box, the OneCoin box, which is the company. Now it did say it on here somewhere. Uh, uh, just say, so it says OneCoin uh, figure series. So I know there are different series. This box actually has like which ones I, I think are in this series. A couple of them I actually have up on the shelf, which I'll show at the end of the video. But I think it's cool that it actually, this one finally came with the box so I could kind of see what it was like. I will keep the box not out. It'll, it's going to go back with all the other scale figure boxes in the storage, but it's still cool to have. I, I appreciate that they sent in this because it wasn't listed that way. So that's cool. Anyways, the figure um, is uh, Suzano. I'm hoping I'm saying that right, but he is a, actually a pretty cool little figure. And I don't know how much you can tell the detail. I will do B-roll for the figure so you can see them close up. Um, but it's very cool. The sword is actually separate. So I don't know if you can see it. It does move. So you actually have to slot it into the hand. Uh, a couple of these other figures I've had have actually have like one little separate piece, which is impressive that, you know, figures this big, like I said, you know, it's like, this is like what, three or to four inches tall at most, have this much thought and effort put into them. And I do appreciate too that they come with the na name plates because it is easy to forget all the names because there's so many different demons. But yeah, this guy's really cool. I'll show you, do the up close so you can see that one. Then the other or uh, set I got, um, I haven't opened yet. They had just arrived today. <clears throat> it was an expensive set listed on eBay. Um, so this is the box. I haven't opened it, as you can see. I'm, I'll do that here. Uh, it was originally listed for close to $200, which is insane. They finally marked it down like a huge percent. I can't remember exactly what. It doesn't really matter. I actually lowballed them on that offer because I hadn't seen this on eBay for quite a long time. It's probably been like a year that 
the pic at least the picture for the set has been up i know it's been under different sellers i don't know why they do that i don't really care i'm not i just wait till i find a good price if they want to mess around whatever they're doing i don't worry about whatever my low ball offer was they did counter which is not as bad as usual usually when i like so say something's like 150 and i'll offer 125 they'll come back and say like 149 i'm like that's not even negotiating you took one dollar off but whatever the offer was they sent was like somewhat like of a good counter offer and i actually just worked out real quick based on how many figures are in here what the cost of each one was including the cost of shipping and it came out to 17 dollars a figure which was a phenomenal deal uh so i couldn't pass that up so i picked so i got this box and we'll open it now yeah 17 dollars for these i feel is pretty fair some people might think that uh that's even too much which is fine that's a legitimate argument they are small figures um probably not as important to a lot of people that play all the games i just think they're really cool uh to add to my collection so there's something I, I constantly are am on the lookout for i guess i should have had scissors that worked okay well, i hope i didn't show my address on there we'll have to check that out Okay, so there is a little note, and they actually include another little origami bird. I actually have two of them up on the collection that have been sent with other figures. So I really appreciate it when they uh, do something like that. I think that's pretty cool. There's a note in here. I'll just check out real quick. Well, it's very nice handwriting. Uh, da -da. It's just asking for positive feedback on uh ebay it's very cool uh very nice looking paper with some like little flowers at the bottom very nice okay and then the cool uh origami bird which i will display with the other ones because i do like these yeah there we go yeah okay so let's get on to the figures This box is a little beat up, but these did are coming uh, used. It did say that in the listing, so I'm not expecting, like, I wasn't expecting them to come in the little one coin boxes, and I wasn't really, uh, you know, I'm hoping that they're just packaged enough where they're not like broken. They're a little more durable than like scale figures are, so not super worried. I also can do a little bit of repairs on these. They don't have to be pristine. It's not as heartbreaking as if, like, a scale figure comes and it's broken. So, yeah, perfect. These are all individually wrapped like this. And they should have nameplates, so they're all here. I'm going to, um, oh, all the nameplates came in one little bundle like this. So now I get to try to match them up. Let's hope I can do that right. So instead of making me unwrap each bubble wrap, you know what? I'll just do that. You guys can suffer with me. So these figures, some of these were pretty cool. Uh, they're ones that when I see them listed individually, tend to be more the ones that are on the higher side, I think just because of which, which ones they are. So like here's uh, Metatron. Uh, it does have the wings and stuff in the little package here with the, you know, they all have these nice little stands and then the wings. So I will put it all together and do close up of each one so you can see. I won't do that part on here because I don't think anybody wants to listen to me ramble that long. Plus, I don't know how much I really would have to say. So here's another one. It's got all the pieces. Cool. Uh, this is Lucifer. So very cool. It has all the different wing pieces. I got to figure out how to put these in. Very nice. Very cool. So once again, Lucifer and Metatron are the ones that I haven't seen a lot Um listed individually but when they are they're they usually tend to be kind of the crazy ones that are listed for like 60 dollars, and then it's like 25 dollars shipping i'm like yeah i don't think so that's a little much even for me so here is oh these wings are a little more fragile these are not the same material these feel like a little more brittle but this is uh lilim so she doesn't actually have a stand she just i guess sits on her knees so i'll show you that one up close too man these are gonna be uh the wings on these, the little plastic pegs that go in, sometimes are a little bit of a pain in the katukas, if you know what I mean. But I'll do it. I will get them all together 
so that I can actually show you uh, what they look like because they're all pretty cool. Here's another one of the angels and his hand with the sword came off. Um, what is this one? I think it's Michael. I got to get the name plates out. And then I'll, I will, uh, I'll be able to tell you more. Here's one. Okay, so this is one on the list, and he looks cool, but I'll be honest. I don't know his name. I've never actually gotten this demon in the game. And if I did, it was for, for such a short period of time that I fused it, and I don't remember having it. But he looks cool, and he's got these wicked, like, little purple goblin-y type creatures at the bottom, but he looks awesome. He kind of looks like a skinny version of Vecna, if you've watched the new Stranger Things. He's a cool, uh, very demon-y looking guy, and I like the ones that look have like that, you know, dark edge to them. That's what I want. Here is another one that I, I'm going to be honest, I don't remember the name because I don't really use her too much, but it's the half like demon, half angel one. Very cool looking figure. And it's got like the arm piece on here that, once again, this one is not the same material. It's, I don't know if you can hear that. It's more brittle. So I'm glad that these aren't broken because they were just in a single piece of bubble wrap, but Nothing's broken so far. They're just the plastic pegs that I have to put together. But yeah, really cool that they're uh, all here. The last two um, are not super exciting for me, but it, it was such a good deal for the bundle that I picked them up. Uh, the only reason they're not exciting is because I already have them in my collection. So I'm actually not going to keep these ones. The uh, first one is, uh, oh, what's her name? Nakamara or ne Nakamara, something like that. Uh, it does have the tail I'll put in. This one actually is supposed to have like a little uh, plate underneath that she is crawling on, like kind of digging in the like, I don't know if it's supposed to be like gore or what, but it did not have the plate. It didn't have it in the picture, so I wasn't expecting it, which is okay. I'm not keeping this one, so I'm not like super upset about that. Um, it just is what it is. But yeah, the tail fit, put, pops right in. So yeah, anyways, this is one I'm not keeping. And then this last one, is I'm not keeping either, is the Nagaraza. Um, it does have the face plate, and this one's like a big peg, so I can just pop this in quick. This guy does look cool, but I already have him. So once again, I'm not going to keep it. I don't want two in the collection only because I have a limited shelf space, so I want to get as much variety as I can. So yeah, that's it. Great deal on all these. I'm super excited to pick them up. I have had an itch to get a figure for a while, and... Ami Ami is just taking forever, but these are super cool. So anyways, yeah, I will do B-roll to show you guys them up close. If you are thinking about them, I actually do recommend them. I very much enjoy them for what they are. They can be very pricey, especially on eBay. So I've been very slow. I've been watching them for a year, and I only have... I probably just doubled the amount of one coin figures I have. So I don't have a ton of them. I'm just being very patient and looking for good deals. I don't recommend overspending on these because they are small and as good as detail as they are for them i just don't think there's the value in them to spend 50 60 plus dollars on each one of these but yeah that's it guys i'll show you the close-up i hope you enjoy the figures if you want in my opinion i think it's worth it for these especially if you're a smt or persona fan very cool stuff anyways uh thanks for checking out this part of the video uh enjoy the figures and have a good day all right so here are the first two that i picked up he is very wobbly. So these are the two that I'm not keeping because I already have, but here they are in case you wanted to get a view of them all the way around. That's probably not very appropriate right there. Um, so then they do come with those little name plates that uh, are pretty cool. They're in Japanese and English, so you can read the names. So that's the first two. So here is Suzano. This is the one that I picked up separate from the rest of the group. Very cool, uh, if you can see like all the fine detail in his muscles. For, you know, a figure that's three or four inches tall. Just all the work they put into the sculpting, even the, you know, flow and wrinkles in the pants, like, I don't know, I'm just very impressed that they do this good of a job for, you know, these figures, even the paint on the belt and stuff. I'm just very impressed with the job they do on these guys. All right, and this one is called Ghoul and Geki. I don't know them from the games. 
but they look very cool and I like them a lot. These ones definitely have the creep factor, which is cool. I wish uh, they would, you know, go back to being a little more dark and edgy. I know they're trying to market mainstream, but these are, uh, you know, very cool dark characters. You can get his face. He looks very demonic, very cool. This is, I looked at the nameplate, it's like Volvere. I think it's French probably, but I don't know the background of the demon at all, but it's very cool. It looks awesome. Yeah. A lot of detail, uh, the flow of the robes, everything for just a, you know, these figures, I'm gonna just keep saying over and over again, for being three or four inches tall, I'm just amazed how much work they put into it. It's very, uh, very well done. And here is Lilum. She actually know pretty well. I've used her quite a bit in the game. So, good demon. I like her. She looks cool. I like the little pose they have on this figure. Uh, yeah, what else can you say? Just looks awesome. Those wings were not super fun to get in because you gotta kind of move the hair without breaking it and it's all the wings are all one piece, but it looks awesome when it's together. I think you guys would agree. So I was wrong on the name on this guy. This is Uriel, not Michael. Awesome figure with the armor and the sword. He looks great. It does have some balance issues. So I think I'm gonna put a little sticky tack under the bottom of the base just to like, oh, see, there you go. Perfect timing. Okay, so I won't even spin them. I'll just show you up close. Like, look at that armor. It just looks awesome, the whole thing. Super awesome figure. Just with the one foot on the base like that, it's not gonna be stable and these guys, when you see the shelf there on the top, I'm not comfortable with that. I don't want him to fall and break all these little pieces, so he will get sticky tack under the base. I don't know how other people feel about that, but, you know, these bases are small and, like, I don't want to say cheap, but they're not scale figures. So I don't care if the bottoms get, like, a little tacky or, like, you know, miscolored or whatever. So here is the man Metatron himself. He looks awesome. You know, has clearly has that robotic... Angel, look, look how awesome those wings look. He's got a great pose. Very imposing, even though the figure is like, you know, three to four inches tall. Just looks awesome. Look at those wings even from the back. I mean, how can you not, you know, appreciate that for being such a small little figure. So yeah, super cool uh, mini fig. I don't even know what you call it, but demon for the collection. And then last but certainly not least is Lucifer. Now, he is actually on one leg as well, but he's much more stable than Uriel. I'm not sure why that is, but he he just is. I don't know if all those massive wings help him out, but man, this figure is super cool. I It's just super impressive seeing it up close. I don't even know if this does it justice, but he is awesome. Anyways, that's it. I will show you really briefly just, you know, the whole setup with all the demons on the shelf because I think it looks really cool. But I hope you guys appreciate it, and we'll check you out for the next one. All right, guys, and then this is a pretty high shelf, and I'm a tall guy, but if this isn't great, I apologize. Here's all the demons together. They are coming together pretty good. I do think, you know, going forward, I pick any more up, I kind of have to rearrange and make this fit better because I do want to fit more in a lot more if I can but I do think it looks awesome it's coming together really good having all these up here I like it I like it a lot anyways guys thanks for checking out this video I really appreciate it you guys have any good ideas on how to make this look any better I'm all ears all right later guys